We can now go across to my colleagues Priyam Vada and Rohini Swami who join us from different counting centers in Chennai. I also have with me Mr. Murari, well-known political analyst. If I may come to you, Mr. Murari, first, it's a high-stakes election for the DMK. Uh, a lot has been said, especially after the split in the party, not a split, the expulsion of elder son Aragiri from the party, Stalin taking complete control. So in that sense, do you see this as an acid test for MK Stalin in particular? You can say that because the first election he is facing on his own, uh, because uh, Narendra is actually taking the back seat because of his ill health and age, and uh, he has been going around and campaigning more than anything else. You know, this is the uh, image that has been dented by two scams, major scams. You know, one is about two uh, G scam, and even they are not talking about uh, quad quadrilateral and uh, shipping cooperation. Uh, Allegations have been made about Balu and Raja. They have. They have uh, they are trying to brazen it out by a ticket to Mahar and Balu and uh, Raja to say that it is all five shit cases. But uh, remember in May, uh, uh, Mahar will have to face question on this uh, Maxis Axis deal. Same TG spectrum also going to come up. You, you mentioned these three names of Mahar and Raja and TR Balu. In case if these three gentlemen actually win this election, would that be a huge setback for Jayalata personally? And what's the message that will be sent out? That will be a disaster because the whole election is on corruption at the central level. These are the key players who are responsible for the corruption and uh, I mean, Manmohan Singh was not able to do anything about it because of coalition compulsion. The whole uh, UPA government got a bad name, UP2, because of these three people. And in fact, Balu, he didn't want him back in the cabinet, Manmohan Singh, if you remember right. So, such being the case, if they are voted back, then that means, you know, uh, I don't think it will happen. People are wise enough to reject them. What will be the Mount Power? Okay, we'll see. In fact, Chennai Central has been not been reporting very high polling percentage as of now. Uh, Priyam Vada, if you can hear me, you have interviewed M.K. Stalin several times in the run-up to the elections. Now, uh, during the campaign, we saw that his DMK leaders, his DMK candidates were talking about 2014 being a semi-final before 2016. Is that the way even M.K. Stalin sees this election? Absolutely. For M.K. Stalin, it's an acid test. He has ensured that Allegri is out of the party. So one headache is over. He's completely taken over the party. The candidates, from candidate selection to deciding literally who should campaign and where they should campaign, everything was scheduled, planned, and ha it happened, everything under the leadership of M.K. Stalin. Unlike the previous elections where Karunalidi at least had some say in the, in the selection of the candidates. So obviously, he knows that he has to prove himself this election election he has to at least increase the vote vote percentage of uh, dmk which drastically went down when they got only 23 seats in the uh, assembly seats in the 2011 assembly election so he has to increase that base right. increase the voter base which he would be in a position to sustain for 2016 Right. Uh, Roini, you were there at the polling station where Dayanadi Maran came to vote. Uh, did you get a sense that he was being quite brave, uh, almost brazen, accusing the media of running some kind of a campaign against uh, Dayanadi Maran at the behest, ironically, of Chief Minister Jayalalitha? What's the kind of signals that you got from Dayanadi Maran? Well, he definitely was trying to put up a brave front of sorts. And uh, interestingly, when asked a question about their chances, he said that they're going to sweep these elections. Well, at one point of time, the DMK, for that matter, during these elections was considered to almost have been washed away. Well, it's largely because the fact that MK Stalin has managed to put the card in place and reorganize the party, that the DMK will manage to get as much as the seats as they may expect at this point of time. But interestingly, Diana right. Maran was all out, not only to criticize the media, who say who he said was was uh, petrified of the chief minister he also very clearly said that, uh, that the, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, that is J. Jayalata, was doing nothing for the state at this point of time. There's a power crisis right. and as soon as the elections are over, there's going to be a six-hour power cut in the in the state and that everything is going to fall apart after the elections and whatever she's doing is just a run-up for the elections and to get as many seats as possible. Right. Uh, Rohini, it's pretty ironical during the election campaign we heard Dayanidhi Maran actually criticizing the government. Uh, ironical considering that his family has held that constituency uh, for the last 16 years or so. In fact, as I said, Rajnikanth was the first person to uh, cast his vote at the Stella Maris College and after that, of course, there was the actor Kamal Hassan and also Lata Rajnikanth who cast their votes. Let's hear what they had to say. Okay. Okay. Whom are you supporting, sir? Whom are you supporting? No, I'm supporting. No, somebody's not. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, you know, I should, I should not. Uh, as a citizen, we always want a good government. Uh, I think just as how any other citizen would feel, I would like India to have a wonderful government.
people down. I mean, Mr. Mr. Modi did come and he did visit his place. Is there a Modi wave in Tamar Nadu that, that you should be telling us? How do you see it also? I, I, was that an endorsement from the superstar himself? I don't think I need to speak on that. Uh, I wouldn't like to say anything. Uh, he came as a great friend and I think it's all there in the press already. Yeah, message to the public, ma'am. Pardon? Message to the public. I think it's, uh, it's a right to vote. It's uh, something everybody should practice. And everybody should pray for the country, prosperity and uh, growth. And I think all of us should work for that. Every point of time we need a stable government. And we should all aim for it. And I've done my duty. I'm sure she has done hers.